All right, fellas, this is the scoop. This burner I'm testing here today is the same design as a silicon carbide design that I have sent off to a Chinese manufacturer to have five samples made. They're giving me a great deal. If they work out great, I'm gonna buy a hundred of these things. So I'm kind of running this thing through the ringer. Try not to bore you on it too much, but basically I'm trying to find what setting is the highest temperature to see if I need to do some tweaking. I'm gonna try two different nozzles on this thing, but in this video, we're only gonna look at the nozzle that's currently mounted on it. Puts off a really nice flame, but it's a huge air hog. And I believe the max temp I got so far was 2,250 some degrees with it being set up like that, which is pretty hot. So, not all that bad. See right there, we had 2,256, but then my battery died on the thermal couple. So, that kind of left me in a pinch. I decided to shut down and try the test again the next day. See if I could hit that. This nozzle here is a higher temp nozzle. I'm going to try this nozzle on that combustor. I just wanted to show it to you guys. It's not like this nozzle here. This one's a little different, it puts off a lot of heat, but it, it, it's not as hot temperature wise, but it can put off more energy. It could heat up a larger volume faster of something. So it's definitely a higher kilowatt output, especially when it comes to waste oil. That's one of the things we gotta remember. I've had it turned down a little bit here just to see what I can do. So I'm just kind of tinkering around with it and at no point could I get it back up to that temperature again. I think I topped out at uh, about 2,130 or something. This is with max air input. We're at about uh, 0 0.05 gallon per minute. And look at that. Not a bad combustion chamber. This nozzle isn't doing it any justice though. We want to at least be over 2,070 degrees because that's what an average propane torch can hit. So I kind of got this thing in my head where I at least got to be a standard propane torch to be worth being out there, you know what I mean? So we do do that though by like 65 degrees, I think. Yeah, there we go. Not too shabby there, definitely hotter. That's a lot of energy though to pull that off. But that's no big deal in some cases. We're gonna try the same test tomorrow with waste oil. It's gonna be cool to see the difference because waste oil flows differently and burns differently. Take a look at that flame, not too shabby. This nozzle has not been adjusted yet. So there are some flow characteristics that are definitely undesirable. You can see that in the irregular heating pattern on the combustion chamber. That's a good tell right there. So, at any rate, I just thought I'd show that to you guys, some of this stuff. That's all I got for now.